can truly elevate any living space, bringing that refreshing touch of nature indoors all year long. However, even though they're inside, our green companions can sometimes be susceptible to pesky critters, either hitchhiking in from new plants or sneaking onto plants that have spent the warmer months outside. Regular vigilance is key in keeping your indoor plants pest free, especially because the most common arthropod pests tend to be really small and hard to see. These include things like aphids, mealybugs, scales, whiteflies, and spider mites. And because they're so inconspicuous, usually the first sign that there is a problem is a stressed and damaged plant. Look out for symptoms like discolored leaves, stunted growth, and even wilting. And you can also look for pest-specific signs, such as sticky honeydew left behind on the leaves, white wax from mealybugs, and really fine webbing created by spider mites. When it comes to houseplants and pests, prevention is always key. If your plants spend the summer outdoors and you need to move them indoors for the winter, be sure to spray them with a strong jet of water to knock down any hitchhikers. Using systemic insecticide treatments can not only help manage current pest infestations, but also help prevent some in the future too. Just make sure you read the label to make sure it works for houseplants and the plant that you have. Additionally, before you bring those plants back indoors, you need to inspect them meticulously. Pay close attention to common areas such as the underside of the leaves, the nodes on the shoots, as well as newer growth because bugs tend to really like those spots. Remember that healthy plants are more resilient to pest issues, so make sure that you maintain a great watering and fertilizing routine. If you do find yourself with pest issues on your house plants, there are some things that you can do. You can either rinse the plant in the sink or shower to dislodge any aphids or other pests that are on them. And you can wipe the leaves off with a wet paper towel or for other insects like aphids and mealybugs, you can even use a cotton swab or a cotton ball that's dipped in alcohol. For larger infestations, you also have the option of using insecticidal sprays applied to leaves and shoots. Once again, just be sure to read that label because not all are available for houseplants. Look for products containing pyrethrins, insecticidal soaps, or neem oil, and make sure that you're applying it in the right location as well. Lastly, remember that not all insects spell doom for your plants. You could have the random hitchhiker that came in, like a lady beetle or a lacewing, and these are things that can simply be captured and relocated outdoors. Fungus gnats are another type of insect that are associated with houseplants, although they tend to be more bothersome and annoying than actually causing damage to the plant itself. Their larvae lived in moist soil, and oftentimes you'll see the black little gnats flying around. This can simply be remedied by letting the soil dry out between waterings, or in some cases, you can use insecticidal products that contain Bacillus thuringiensis, or BTI, Look for products like mosquito dunks, mosquito bits, or knockout gnats. Yellow sticky traps are also a really great tool that you can use to capture flying adults like fungus gnats and white flies. So, as you enjoy your aloe, fiddle leaf fig, succulents, or spider plants, remember to stay vigilant and keep an eye out for some unwanted company so you can have a flourishing indoor garden.